This is the information presentation for the Certificate 2 in Career Preparation for Semester 2 2023. The Certificate 2 in Career Preparation has a number of aims. It aims to prepare you for your future education goals and also for employment opportunities. It aims to help you develop your personal skills like assertiveness, conflict management and building confidence and self-esteem. Also to help you understand workplace ethics and personal well-being in a workplace. To develop skills for online learning and being an adult learner in adult learning environments. It aims to help you improve your ICT skills in things like word processing, creating visual presentations and spreadsheets. Also it helps you look at your future career options and plan your career. It will help you with a reading, writing and communicating and also build your confidence with fractions, decimals, percentages, using measurement and collecting and analysing data. There are 15 units of work in this qualification. They're grouped into categories, as you can see, personal development, workplace communication, digital skills, reading and writing, workplace skills and numeracy. The units in the personal development category include prepare to participate in adult learning, plan to improve self-esteem, use basic skills for assertiveness and use strategies to address conflict. In workplace communication, we have the units use oral communication skills to participate in workplace teams and use oral communication skills for effective workplace presentations. Under digital skills, we have develop e-learning skills and operate application software packages. Our reading and writing units include re read routine pre-employment texts and write routine pre-employment texts. For workplace skills, we have three units, develop strategies for workplace health and well-being, examine ethical issues in the workplace and use routine strategies for career planning. Our two numeracy units are use numeracy to complete familiar tasks and estimate, measure and calculate with routine metric measurement for work. Here is the timetable information for this qualification. The Certificate 2 in Career Preparation is delivered face to face over 18 weeks, one semester. It operates on Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. Class runs from 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. This course will start on the 25th of July 2023 and finish on the 1st of December 2023. You will also have eight hours of independent learning activities per week and this is in addition to class attendance. Weekly learning activities and assessment tasks will all have due dates and you will need to meet these and schedule time to do that. Course entry requirements. There are no essential entry requirements for this course. Because there is quite a bit of reading and writing in the course, it is best that applicants are able to read and interpret simple documents and prepare things like written reports. Uh, students should have the ability to be self-motivated -motiv and self-directed in the learning process to be able to cope with the demands of this course. Um, they should also have access to and the ability to use technology to engage with the online learning material to communicate with teachers and peers and complete learning and assessment tasks. But it should be noted that there is plenty of teacher support with all of these things if you are uncertain or unsure. Let's look at the ways that you will learn in this course. You will engage with learning content through the following. 
there will be classes and independent learning activities. You will be accessing written learning materials on documents and websites. There will be group discussions. Uh, there will be independent research. You'll be engaging with case studies and role plays. You'll be developing word process documents and PowerPoint presentations, answering written questions and completing quizzes. Assessment information. Assessments happen at the completion of each unit of learning. Assessments generally will be given out in class time and have support uh, available from your teachers. But some assessments may require you to spend additional time outside of class hours doing independent research or writing up and finishing tasks. For some units, you will be asked to complete tasks in class so that we can observe your skills. These are called observation assessments or performance tasks. The majority of assessments will be submitted through the online learning platform, Canvas. Uh, if you meet all of the assessment criteria for all of the units, you will be awarded the full certificate two in career preparation. However, if you do not meet the full criteria for the course, you will be awarded a statement of attainment for the units that you have completed. For this course, it's important to be aware of what is expected of you. As a TASTAFE student participating in any of our courses, we expect students to attend as many classes as possible, uh, to notify the teacher if they're going to be absent or have decided to discontinue their study. Uh, we expect you to be punctual in your attendance, so arrive on time. Uh, be respectful to all other class members and teaching staff. We expect you to be motivated to learn and participate in all classroom activities. Uh, also to complete learning activities in your own time uh, as you've been directed to do so by your teachers. Um, participate in assessments and of course ask for support and help as you require it because there's plenty of support and help available to you. Information regarding course fees and associated costs. All general education courses are free to all Tasmanian residents, so there is no cost for this course. Uh, there are no prescribed textbooks for this course, so there is no expense there. All learning materials will be supplied for you. Here is some information regarding facilities at TASTAFE. This course is delivered from the TASTAFE Campbell Street campus in Hobart City. Uh, you will be advised of the room number for this course during the application process. You will be given access to TASTAFE laptops during class times, but you may also bring your own device if you like um, and you will be advised how to connect to the TASTAFE network. You will be given an Outlook email address as a student and you will have access to our online learning platform, which is called Canvas. You will have access to all campus facilities and services such as our library, our student support team and our disability support offices. The application process for this course. Applications will open online on our TASTAFE website on the date and time shown on the screen. To do your application, visit our website and go to the Apply and Enrol page. You can watch our Applying at TASTAFE presentation video there that will guide you through the steps. After you have submitted your application, it's important to keep an eye on your emails as we will advise the outcome of your application or let you know if we need further information from you. TASTAFE has great student support services. 
If you need assistance or support at any time during your TAS TAFE experience, please don't hesitate to contact one of our student counsellors, disability liaison officers or Aboriginal support officers for help. They offer a range of student services, including support with additional literacy and numeracy, support with study skills, advice about financial assistance, counselling, disability support and career planning. You can call uh, the 1300 655 307 number to make an appointment with our student support services staff or you can visit the student support section on our website to make an appointment. That concludes our formal presentation. And now we're ready to answer the questions that you may have regarding this course. Thank you. Hi, my name is Edwina and I'm one of the teachers in the Certificate 2 for Career Preparation. And my colleague Belinda is here with me as well. Hi, everybody. Um, we're just there's a couple of really good questions here come through Belinda, so we might just work our way through those and sure. um, see how we go. Yep. Um, so the first first question was how much will this course cost? Um, I'm happy to take this one. Yep. So um, certificate two in career preparation is is free to all Tasmanian residents, so it won't cost you anything at all. Um, so a really good value for money. <laughs> OK. Um, the second question we've got here is um, will be will there be any work to complete in my own time at home? Would you like to take that one, Belinda? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, there is work to complete in your own time. I'd like to say that most of the work gets done during class times um, when you come in and attend the face to face classes, but there will be homework given. So you do need to schedule, you know, around eight hours per week to get through the work satisfactorily. So you need to think about when and where and how you will do that in your own time. And sometimes if assessment tasks don't get completed, in the face to face classes that that will be homework or in what we call independent learning where you go home and um, make sure you schedule time for that that part of the course. So in short, yes, there is work to do outside of class hours. Great, thank you. All right, let me have a look through here. Oh, there's another good question here. I'll take this one. Um, it says can I get extra help outside of class hours? Um, and the answer to that is definitely yes. Um, Belinda and I are available uh, via email um, or via Canvas inbox message, and we will always try and respond to you as quickly as possible um, as soon as we, we leave classes. Uh, so we, you can contact us outside of our face-to-face -face course hours. We also have dedicated study support teachers who we can um, arrange for you to meet with at certain times outside of class and they can support you with the learning that you will need to do to get through the course and complete your assessment tasks. And that can be an ongoing weekly arrangement um, to suit yourself. We also have library staff available and of course our course and career counsellors are also there to support all TAS TAFE students. So Belinda and I are very comfortable arranging those support, extra support needs that you might have it's just a matter of having a conversation with us to get that ball rolling. OK, another one for you, Belinda. Um, do I need to have my own computer to do this course? No, you don't need your own computer. Um, when you're in class here at TAS TAFE, we provide laptops for your use. Um, and if you don't have a computer or internet access at home, um, to do your independent work, you can schedule time in our TAS TAFE libraries because they all have computers available and internet and that's all you know. part of being a student is scheduling library time. Uh, some students like to bring their own devices and that's fine too. We'll help you connect to the TAS TAFE uh, network here, but it's not necessary. You, you can absolutely get through this course with not having your own device will will help you out in that respect. Excellent, that's really good. 
All right, uh, another question's just popped in. What happens if I miss some classes? Um, over a six month period, it's it's not unreasonable to think that you might get sick or you know you need to have a day off for medical appointments or other things that happen in life. Um, so, but we ask you as an adult learner to take responsibility to catch up with what you missed out on that day. So several ways that you can do that. We always put a, a weekly schedule up in our Canvas course. So you would refer to that and, and that will point you to the pages that were um, discussed on the day that you were away. Again, as an adult, we would expect you to approach the teacher and perhaps have a conversation about what did I miss out on yesterday and what do I need to do to catch up? And we usually find that your classmates are also happy to support you and, and, and help you. And we encourage that people sort of develop study buddies or little study groups where they can support each other through the course. So um, it's, it's not a big problem, but we do expect you as an adult to take some responsibility about sort of catching up and, and getting back on track again if you've been away for a while. Okay, I'll just give a moment here to see if there's anybody out there who has any other questions. Um, so we'll just wait for a second here. While we're waiting, just letting you know if you have any problems with the enrollment process, um, please feel free to email us and we can provide you with some support or advice during that process as well. And I think there's an instructional video on the website that helps you to understand what the steps that you need to take. OK, well, I can't see any more questions, but if you do have any other questions, um, please email us on the email address that's on your screen at the moment, general.education at tastafe.tas.edu.au. And we thank you for joining us today and hopefully we will see you in the class soon. Definitely. Thanks, everybody. Right. Thank you. Bye.